Hey guys, what's up? So it is now late November, and if you guys have been watching, you've seen the three knives that I've reviewed. I've been the Spyderco Resilience, CRKT, Nurk Tie, and the Cold Steel AK-47. Uh, if you'll notice, these knives have some common characteristics, and they're also the three knives that I carry most often. Some of them I've had for pretty much the longest in my collection, but the CRKT is a pretty new addition and uh, mostly reviewed them first because they're all knives with common features, meaning that I carry them the most often. So, if you'll notice, they're all around the same size, as you've probably seen the video, is going to be called 4-inch folder. I was mostly referring to blade size, and these knives all have around a 4-inch blade with around a 4-inch handle to balance them out. And uh, I've got some reasons for that, reasons that other people may not agree with, but reasons that are pretty important to me. The first one being comfort. Um, as you can see, with a knife of around this size, this handle design, the knife is going to rest among this strong ridge of your palm here. It's going to be more conducive to a much stronger grip and a much more comfortable grip in my mind for extended cutting, and uh, God forbid in a tactical purpose, um, rather an offensive or a defensive purpose, I think you're going to have a lot better performance from a knife the handle that rests against the ridge of your palm. As you can see, I'll show you all three of these knives do. Also, these knives all have a relatively strong traction plan, uh, the cold steel obviously being the best, then the CRKT, then the Spyderco. Uh, the Spyderco actually does have a relatively good traction plan with the medium low traction G10, the big choil, and the thumb ramp here on the back. So I want to compare that grip that you guys saw there with the back of the knife resting along this strong ridge of the palm and your fingers kind of curling around and uh, adding some grip to say something like the uh, CRKT Ripple where the most comfortable way for me to carry it is actually wrapped up here in the second knuckle of the fingers with the back of the knife resting against the back of my fingers as opposed to in that strong ridge of my palm. This is a still a plenty strong grip for EDC purposes. You don't need a, uh, a real choked up grip to open a box. You know, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, as I've said before, I don't carry a firearm, and my knives are the highest level that I can escalate to in a self-defense situation. So uh, that factors in making weight less of a factor for the knives. I have less weight that I carry on my person every day, and so a heavy knife is not a big deal for me. Um, so as you can see, hopefully you guys can see that that might be a less comfortable grip over an extended period of time, cutting really resistant materials. Um, now certainly there are some knives that are very comfortable that have more of a similar grip to the Ripple. The AKC Lever Leto, for example, very comfortable knife, not the best traction plan, as you guys can clearly see it's a smooth handle design with only these uh, Quillians as sort of a guard. Um, but as you can see it's melted all the way around, it's got no hard corners, even uh, on the inside of this channel here, very smooth melted corners, and so it is comfortable. Um, Whereas the ripple is not very melted, it's got hard corners, it's not comfortable. Here's an example of a smaller knife that has very good traction plan, actually a clinic on traction plan, and a very comfortable handle. So there are knives that are exceptions to the rule, but I've found that with a 4-inch blade knife competing in this sort of category with a broad blade, you have blades that are conducive for self-defense, and you have handles that are very comfortable. Um, at least for my hand, you guys can definitely differ in opinion on this, and I bet some of you will. You'll find the smaller knives are more comfortable, but uh, for me, large knives are more comfortable, and also they're just cool, aren't they? I love the big knives with the uh, big blades. They're just more fun, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, also as you can see, the three knives that I carry the most have either a built-in wave feature or an adapted wave feature. I'm a wave feature fanatic, and uh, I don't know, I just love it. Um, so you won't see me every day carrying a whole lot of knives without some way to improvise a wave feature or just have one right off the bat. I do love my autos, uh, love my smaller knives too, I definitely appreciate these guys. And soon I'll have a, not a collection update, an EDC update showing how um, I integrate the smaller knives, not these three, actually everything else that you see on the log, into my uh, EDC system. That'll be up hopefully tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I definitely dig my 4-inch folders. I'm in love with them. I think they're awesome looking. I think they're a great uh, hand fit for me. And uh, I love the extra cutting capability. I know I don't need it for a regular EDC type task. Let's be honest. EDC, this thing will get it done. Everything that you need to do EDC with your knife, 
98% of people, this little Gerber paraframe will get it done.